before the pre-2019 garbage that went on and everybody became greedy and a little bit before then, before um, Ticketmaster and their dynamic ticket pricing bullshit, they were bands that really did a lot of cool shit for nothing. Nowadays, to have a backstage pass, it's like fucking six, seven hundred dollars for the meet and greet. And I'm like, really? Well, I'll tell you a little story. Back in 2015, Skinny Puppy came to New Orleans, which was no big deal. The tickets, I think, were like $75. They weren't really expensive. And it was at the House of Blues, which was cool because that place is really small. So it was really badass. Almost time to get the tickets. We get everybody that went to the show got an announcement. Everybody's ticket was a backstage pass to the foundation room. So that meant the club next to this, next to the um, House of Blues, was called the foundation room. And it's a badass room. It's fucking, this whole place is cool. It's set up for people. <laughs> I guess it does ecstasy because it's really cool. So, well, we watched the show and everything, and cool thing about it was Skinny Puppy didn't charge nothing for it. It was already like a free thing. So, what tell us his name? Kev, and I can't remember the other guy's name, the guitarist. Fuck, I can't remember his fucking name. Man, I forget his name. But anyway, the guitarist, and I can't remember. I didn't stay that real long. So I don't know if Oryx showed up or not. But they were really cool. I mean, they hung out with everybody, talked with everybody, bullshit around. And I mean, it was really a fun, cool thing. And shit like that. I remember every band that I've ever met. And people nowadays have forgotten what it's like to be that fan. It's all about money now. I mean, I can remember seeing the Verb Pipes. They opened up for Static X in a fucking little tiny-ass little club called Orbit Nightclub in Fort Myers. Dude, lead singer was fucking cool as shit. Wayne Static. <laughs> uh, Wayne was a little guy. I never knew he was that short. He was little. But he was cool. He was kind of fucked up, but he was cool as shit. I mean, I got to... Just different things like that was really cool, and people have forgotten that. I mean, another one, um, Union Underground. Those guys are a fucking trip. They were. I seen them like three or four times. Last time, last two times I seen them, they were at Ozfest. But the first three times, they were at fucking Orbit's nightclub in Fort Myers, and they hung out with everybody. I mean, it was just a cool thing. And I know it's kind of off subject to Skinny Puppy, but it's more about the different bands that I've seen. Hell, Rob Zombie is fucking cool as shit, or he was. I've met him a few times at fucking Ozfest. And that goddamn guitarist, I can't remember his name that he's got now, after uh, Johnny Five left. I met that fucker. He's a trip, too. <laughs> and then there was another one. Um, fuck, there was, I've met so many goddamn bands at Ozfest and just different other, other little places that, I mean, it wasn't about money. It was about the fans, and that's what the cool part was. And to me, that was one of my most memorable things was that. Because the bands actually cared. And they are actually cool. Hell, fucking Slipknot was a trip. My fucking, um, my stepson got to meet Clown and hung out with Clown. When he come off the stage, I mean, it's just, this was fucking, he was like 10 years old, 11 years old then. My stepson got to see a lot of fucking people because he, he went with me. So he got to meet a lot of different bands like Slipknot and fucking everybody else. It's probably 30 bands, but keep going off subject everybody has forgotten what that's like and now it's all about money which sucks because now it's a single serving society and they're putting out single serving music and i always prefer back to the fight club that fucking line your single serving life and it kind of didn't make sense but i'll be goddamned if it does now i know it's just kind of a little bit of rambling and it's it's about music, but it's just some of the things that I've seen. And I mean, there'll be more other things that I'll remember and I'll talk about because I've been to probably shit 
thousands of shows since I was five years old. So there's a lot of shit I remember. And there'll be other stories when I remember them or when the time is right to talk about them. 